Hello and welcome to the Brick Cave Media Podcast. My name is Bill Campana, five-time Brick Cave Author of the Year. Can you believe that? <laughs> and uh, the subject of several silver alerts in the greater Phoenix area. Joining me in the studio tonight is my cohort, fellow poet, and a man who has never been lost, Patrick Hare. Hi, Bill. Hey. Lost right now. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, Patrick Hare here, author of Corporate Boilerplate Vinegar from Brick Cave Books. The Brick Cave podcast is brought to you by the BC Book Club, Brick Cave Media's community portal for readers that love Brick Cave books and authors. Mm, vinegar. And here it is, November 4th. Where did vinegar come from? <laughs> Funniest family story on Thanksgiving is one year I drank a whole quart of vinegar. Did you really? I, no. Yeah. I, oh. <laughs> like, dang. Well, mine is that one year way back in the 1970s, um, it, it was a big family dinner at my parents' house, and um, the wine was flowing freely and along with the turkey, so basically... You know, it is the whole food coma thing. Everyone Everyone's falling asleep out. before 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. Wow. Did you... Uh, so I was like the, the person who's like wondering what the hell's going on. Because I'm just a, like, like six years old. Six <laughs> it's years like everyone's old everyone's laying down and sleeping. Everybody's gone into the, the, uh, the poppy field coma. Why did we lose everybody? What happened? Yes, it was the quietest the house had been for several days. Uncle Ned, are you okay? <laughs> See, that's back when relatives would actually, you know, come and show up at your house, and they'd be all over the place. They'd be sleeping on the floor, on the Did couches. Did they come over to your house this year? No. <laughs> Phil, you going somewhere? Or? Uh, my cousin's house. All the relatives will be there for uh, the, the annual November super spreader. I think we decided uh, Christmas was the year we were going to get Christmas this year. We're getting together. Yeah. yeah. So it's basically just Sharon and I this year. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having some turkey. I like a little turkey every now and then. I tell you, and man, I like my the, relatives. They're, they're all right. Do the pre order thing from one of the local yeah. restaurants. Easy. Yeah. But uh, where's, where's the fun of checking on the bird and. The fun is right the behind house. the cleanup, Bill. You know, right behind the cleanup. Just wondering with all the worker shortages and stuff like that, are you guaranteed that your food's going to actually be made? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's on a boat. It's halfway yeah, right. Exactly. It's in a it's in a box on a boat. <laughs> it's Here's your turkey. It's the, don't eat the pink parts. <laughs> just eat the. <laughs> your your turkey is on its way to Florida we now because we couldn't unload it in California. Two parts of the wings are done. <laughs> we think that might be it. And that little nub <laughs> on the on the, the end of the There's leg. There's a touch of browning underneath if you look. Yeah, that little that little nub of cartilage. Can't tell if that's actual browning or if it's just been sitting out for right. long and, enough and, and it's the, starting and to... And the, the, the part that uh, they call the Parsons nose. The, really? Yeah. All right. Anatomy of a Turkey with Bill Campana. The Parsons knows. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, there you go. Other uh, than that. Got a poem? It's it's a good day of carbs, uh, Thanksgiving. It is a good day of carbs. You just eat carbs. It's not the tryptophan that knocks you out. It's all those carbs. It is. Yeah. It is. I have a seasonal poem. It's seasonal. It's a little bit late. Is it Durkies or McCormick season? <laughs> <laughs> I burned a pack of witches that came knocking at my door. They demanded sweet libations, so I captured half a score. I set stakes up in the backyard. All that heat gave me great thirst. Oh, I drank and laughed at the howling blast on that clear October 31st. Oh, he's, uh, he's still in Thanksgiving. Here, he's still in Halloween. Halloween <laughs> Sunday. Come on. <laughs> we had three trick-or-treaters come to our house. I, I had eight. You know, they just need to stop it. They There's just the cut it year. out. No more holiday. Well, if you want your kid to have candy, <laughs> get him a damn bag of candy. <laughs> Ask him what he wants and get it for him. That's it. You're done. Well, then you don't get the Tootsie Rolls and the Twizzlers and uh, yeah, the, the Smarties. The Smarties. Super Bubble. Yeah. Yeah. 
or somebody's leftover candy from last year. You don't get that either. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of that. I, there's, like, someone in the office where I work had this ball of candy that's been there forever. And I know that uh, there's Skittles have a half-life. They turn to powder. Or you don't get the... You don't get the people that have already bought Christmas candy, like the really bad stuff that you don't really want anyway. Well, how about those, uh, the, the big debate this year has been candy corns. I love candy corn. Some people like them, some people hate them. You know what I'm I saying? I love candy corn. Yeah, I like two or three, not a whole bunch. So if you don't like them, who's putting a gun to your head and telling you to eat them? Nobody. <laughs> Oh, that's a new Nobody thing. has ever been Nobody. forced it's against It's a new their TikTok will. challlange. It's yes. The, the How much candy, candy corn, corn can you eat candy during Candy corn or your video? life challenge. I, you know, I use them as suppositories. What do you think about that? <laughs> if you like them, think of where they're going in my house. Uh, and now it's cooking with Bill. Yes. Now it's cuisine. Even, I'm sorry, cuisine with Bill. Well, you know, it, it's like boofing. You know, when you shoot that liquor, up, that hard liquor right up your rear end. It's that way with candy too. You shove it up your ass, and oh my God, you go. You're on a sugar high like no one's business. I'd like to remind everyone that uh, the opinions expressed in this podcast may not be the opinions of Brickade Media proper. Thank you. Yeah. Please do not put foreign objects exactly. in places they don't belong. Justice Kavanaugh. Yeah, or the alcohol. <laughs> he's got. A, he's, I don't know. He's got like a whole Mars bar up his ass. Die oh. from doing that with wine. I wouldn't recommend hard liquor. <laughs> oh man. All right. So Black Friday. You got. A, you got advice for Black Friday shoppers, or do you want to? You mean shoppers who are black? Is that what you're getting at, Bob? Nope, not at all. Okay. Uh, you know what? Stay home. Yeah, don't. Stay home and eat candy. You should be sleeping Stay home on the morning eat. of Black Friday. <laughs> Stay home and, and boof leftover gravy or something. <laughs> Although I did once buy a trampoline oh, on Black shit. Friday, but that was well into the afternoon. It was probably... You bought a trampoline on Black Friday? Yeah, because it was at like one of the, the big five sporting goods stores, and I went to four of those stores. And you got so one. Like I finally, big four. Yeah, because it was cheap, and it was a nice big trampoline. And uh, Was this here? Yeah, it was here. It was a long time ago because Nigel and I put it together, and he was only five at the time, I think. So, um, Patrick, that wasn't that long ago. It was, it was, <laughs> so how old was he now? So it, also, it wasn't that long ago. He's 23 now, right? I was going to say, right? Yeah. 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 He's 13 now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, eight years is a long time. Like, in his life, it's one and a half. All right, in Nigel's ago. life, it was a long time. In, in my life, it's nothing. You look like you're ready to read, Bill. You know, kind of looking here. All right. Again, Patrick, are you ready to read? You got, got something? Patrick, read another. One. All right. Patrick, take us, take it's us home, Patrick. Thematic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll have to introduce you as the relatives I never mentioned. <laughs> Has it got onion or garlic powder in it? You bet it does. I use an irradiated mixture made out of blood onions and conflict garlic. The MSG was harvested from the waste pile of a cadmium mine right next to a pretty orange river in China. The jalapenos were picked by underfed farmers who didn't have the time to wash the peanut butter off their hands. Unlike any other product made in the United States, the cheese sauce contains traces of RGBH and the whole mixture is stabilized with the same mercury compounds found in your garden variety measles vaccine. The GMO tortilla chip corn is fried in hydrogenated oil manufactured from the rendered body fat of the artist formerly known as Shamu. The meat is mixed from hind quarters of last place at the Kentucky Derby, as well as the remnants of a series of Kardashian plastic surgeries. Has it got gluten? God, yes! <laughs> It's got super gluten from a steroid store in Mexico, and I smuggled it across the border in a giant bag of cornstarch so nobody would get suspicious. <laughs> the whole recipe was written exclusively for the Limbaugh letter by Donald Trump, or at least that's what I would like to have you believe, rather than admitting that everything I made came out of a couple of cans and a tortilla chip bag that I boosted from the food bag collection box. Thank you. Yay. Super gluten. <laughs> super gluten. God, yeah.